Practice Outdoors, here we go. It's a Southern Michigan opener. Sun is getting ready to come up. Shooting hours are coming in, I think, here in about three minutes. So I'm going to get ready and uh, see what happens. We were in here about a week ago, and there was ducks in here. So there's going to be at least some action today. Well, good morning. Opening day. <laughs> kind of snuck up on me. Sort of ready for this, sort of not. <laughs> Thank you. Test. Back. Right. 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 Good. Good girl. on the board. We're both on the board. Come on, baby. Leave that one alone. Come on. Here's the retriever test right here. Good. Pick it up. Come on. Good girl. Very good. Leave it. Good girl. Test, test, flat. Good. Good job, baby. Good job, Tessie. Wow, what a good girl. Leave it? Good girl. Okay, baby, come on. Good job. Here's a hen mallard, mine's a gadwall. Well, we had a group of teal come through. It was totally caught off guard. Messing with the camera not paying attention, so they're gonna live to fly another day. Try not to let that happen again. single teal came in, a single blue wing came in, I got that. <clears throat> Things have kind of slowed down now as the sun's coming up farther. But there are some mallards moving around for sure still, so we'll see if anything else wants to drop into our hole here. Test back. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Come on, baby. Very good. Pick it up. Good. Leave it. Good girl. Kennel up. Good. So we got four ducks in the bag now. You got a gaddy, blue wing, and two mallards. I'm pretty happy with that. We had a mallard single come in and I got him. Young of the year Drake. And uh, some birds are still moving. So hopefully it keeps up. Unfortunately, the sun is about to come over these trees out in front of us. And when it does that, it's right in your face. But to be set up for the right wind position at this hole, we just have to deal with that. So we've got three browning maxises that we shoot. And they all have trigger trapping problems. All three of them. And I got tired of it. I also have an Auto 5 Magnum Stalker that's probably built about 97 or 98. And the first, let's say probably the first 10 years that I owned that Auto 5, it just would not malfunction. It was super reliable. My friends were shooting Remingtons and stuff, and their shotguns would malfunction often. With boring regularity, they would malfunction. And that Auto 5 I had would not malfunction. Then we thought we'd move on to these Browning Maxises. And I like the gas system on them. It works well. But they always trigger trap. And I think there's an inherent problem in that fire control group that they tend to trigger trap. I have not found a way to effectively deal with that. And then one of our Maxises, the trigger group just plain went out. And would not fire the shotgun. It's sitting at the Smith right now. It's been into the Smith twice for that. And I just got tired of it. I don't like to have a malfunctioning shotgun on a duck hunt. I hate it. So these two old Belgian, beat up Belgian Auto 5s went up for auction online. And I told Beth, let's get those. And then I thought, well, it doesn't have changeable chokes. And then I thought, you know what, so what? It's probably a full choke. It's going to be fine. And then I thought, well, it's going to rust easily. I mean, a lot of the bluing is worn off. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to keep it really well oiled up and do the best I can with it. And so we bought them at auction. Two beat up old Belgian Auto 5s because I'm tired of malfunctions. I took it out in the backyard and I ran skeet rounds through it flawlessly. Functioned flawlessly. I ran some waterfowl rounds through it. It only shoots two and three quarters. I thought, oh no, it only shoots two. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> two and three quarters are fine. You could kill a lot of ducks with two and three quarter inch loads and a full choke. So I'm doing it. I'm shooting this old Auto 5. I'm not saying I'm never going to shoot my Maxis again, but I'm tired of the trigger trapping problem. Browning doesn't seem to be able to solve it. I've got one of the Maxises we have is almost brand new and it trigger traps. And trigger trapping, if you don't know, is where you pull the trigger and then you try to pull the trigger again and you can't pull the trigger. Basically, the trigger group did not reset to fire another shot. So I'm really happy with it. Two and three quarters. I've shot a teal this morning at you know, 25, 30 yards. Did fine. I shot a gadwall at 15 yards. The full choke, it did fine. So this is what I'm going to shoot most of the time. Now my other Auto 5, I have a newer Auto 5 that I love, but... It needs work. It's old, it has many, many hundreds of rounds through it, and it needs a little bit of work and a little bit of attention before it goes back out in the field. Salt water has gotten 
We used it down in Texas in the salt water and it's rusty. And it just needs some work to get it running the way I want it to run. So we picked these up. And so far I couldn't be happier with it. Shoots great, no malfunctions. I'm knocking ducks down. Couldn't be happier. Do have to, you know, wipe some oil on it now and then. Try to keep the water from getting to the steel. It's gonna wanna rust, but I'll deal with it. And there's just a coolness factor with the, the old humpback. There it is. The sun is up now, in our faces, melting our retinas. So I think we're pretty happy with our four ducks for the Southern Michigan opener today at this spot. And we're gonna call it good. We got another spot that we know is holding ducks that we're gonna hit tomorrow. Looking forward to that. So Anarchist Outdoors, out. Ooh.